All right, guys, we got the Muddy uh, Preview 2. <laughs> now, we're going to do a quick review on this thing. We just picked it up at Bass Pro. I've got a, a bunch of these blinds. I've worn out a few of them over the years hunting. And this is kind of like the surround view, the Primo surround view. And I needed, I needed a cheap, inexpensive uh way to go try to kill a deer that won't allow me to kill it when i'm hanging from a tree saddle because it sees me pull back every time <laughs> so i'm gonna go set up a blind i got uh, 17 acres in oklahoma where i tried to kill a deer yesterday and won't let me kill it because uh she was noticed me in the tree anyways i'm hoping this solves my problem so uh i'm gonna set it up here show you how it sets up and then uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, I'll be hunting in this thing, hopefully waiting on that doe and maybe a big buck uh, that's been coming or a decent sized buck. He's not huge, but he'll do. So uh, stay tuned. As kids get married, when parents are buried, as grandkids appear, life sometimes austere but one thing I know this life is not slow it's Jesus I'll follow so life is not hollow what about you Well, so far I'm liking what I see. Cause you can set this up, like you can pull them both open like this. This is a little tight right here, which worries me a little bit like it's gonna come off the track or something. There we go. Probably just needs to be broke in. And this one come up all the way as well. But this is how I'm gonna hunt it with this, just a slit like this. Probably shoot out this window and maybe out here and then I'll have my camera on this window. Cause I'm basically only have one direction to shoot and everything else is gonna be pretty socked in tight. But I'm liking it. You can see it right here, black walls. Wacko. Just like this. Whack. So um liking what I see so far. And this is a see-through mesh, as you can see in there, you can kind of see what's going on. Tomorrow will tell the tale and we will see if I can kill a nice buck out of this. So let's see. Next time you see me, you'll see me in Oklahoma. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm finishing up a hunt here in Oklahoma. Got about an hour left. But I wanted to give you my opinion on this uh, uh, muddy uh I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's on the screen. I'll put it on the screen. How's that? I just got it. This is the first time I've hunted in it. Um, here's my final. I've had a whole day now to hunt out of this. And uh, a few improvements. Muddy, if you're listening. <laughs> I think I, I did a, a, a review on a Primos uh, 270 surround view, I think it was. And this one's similar to that, only it has... The 270 has uh, three walls rather than two walls that are see-through. I like the idea better of having two walls because I like the fact that there's two black walls that you sit against and then you're only looking at a, um, a 180 view. I like that better actually. Um, these windows are really nice. I like them. They, uh, they're they're not noisy at all. They stay when you move them. And um, and you can kind of taper it down where you can see real thin here. And then it gets wider right here. So I like that. I can shoot with my bow out this hole here. And I can film out this hole. And then I can leave it, you know, have a slit this way so I can see deer. I had deer this morning coming right here. And then straight out in front of me. Um, so that's good. Um, 
a few downsides to this blind is it is pretty small. It's not a two-man. I think they say it's a two-man, but it is not a two-man, unless maybe you're shooting with a rifle. <laughs> if you got a kid and you're shooting a, um, like a crossbow, I wouldn't use this. I'd go to a bigger blind. This is just not big enough. Um, a few other things uh, is this back wall has a full window in it and i don't know why they did that i don't like that because this morning or actually this afternoon I had some dough come out right here way out there about 50 yards it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and um and i think she, i think she busted me because of this window it had sagged down like this and i didn't notice it so it was sagged like that and it's kind of real loose, so about on the whole this whole day's hunt, I've had to pull that window up about three or four times, so that's kind of irritating. I'm probably going to sew this here so that you can just keep this tight in the middle and then move it up and down from the edges if I have to. Um, primo, uh, or Muddy, if you're listening, uh, you need to overlap this more. It should be like up here another three or four inches up high so that that's if it ever sags it doesn't ever show the light behind it um this i don't uh, what i would have preferred them to do is this this window right here is a pretty nice window i like this this design it has these little buttons here you can pull it down if you need to but i don't know why they didn't just put this window right here too that's really all you need. Also, this zipper. Um, I'm not a big fan of zippers on these things. I'd rather see a fold or something where you could take a flap and fold it down over this. Um, kind of similar to this concept here, uh, because this in the morning times, if you got if you, if if you need to be really quiet, zippers aren't the quietest. Um, as you can, as you can tell, plus when, when these zippers break, when these zippers break, they're done. <laughs> um, one other thing too on this, um, the the material used on this portion, this is really sturdy. This is gonna last forever. Um, but this material reminds me of an old Barnett um, blind that I had. And that thing didn't last very long at all. <laughs> uh, out in the sun, it just it just just kind of disintegrated after about leaving it out in the weather for probably three months or so, a season, and it was done. So I this is this blind I would not leave out in the weather very long uh, just for that fact because I don't it just doesn't feel like it's very uh, sturdy. Um, but you know, I've, I've got the the uh, uh, Primos, what do they call it, 270, I think, uh, surround view, and that one has holes in it already, and that only lasted about a season and a half, and I'm having to put tape on it now. So um, these blinds just don't last very long. Whenever you sit them out in the weather, I guess that just comes with the territory. So so take it for what it's worth. Anyways, that's my radneck opinion. <laughs> Paid $200 for this at, uh, uh, it was Bass Pro Shop. I just had to get it in, in a hurry because it was raining today. It did rain, the rain stayed off me, so um, it worked as far as that goes. Uh, it comes with stakes, and um, I think that's all you need to know about it. But on a scale of one to five, I would give this a four star a four star it's a good blind it's it's workable it is a little bit small for a uh, bow hunter um it is a little tight when you're pulling back but uh would have wished it to be about another three or four inches um wider and longer and it would have worked out a little better for me i'm using a 27 inch uh matthews v3 so you're not going to get a a 33 inch bow in here I don't think would work 30 inch maybe 31 maybe but uh, you're gonna have to have a small bow in this in this blind gun 
It's an easy, easy one to hunt out of with a gun. All right. Uh, hope you enjoyed that review of the Muddy Blind. Um, be sure and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll give you future notice of any videos that come out in the future. Thank you for watching.